Warning, the podcast you're about to hear has a unique conservative perspective and may be politically incorrect, containing some controversy in its message. This episode may speak out against liberalism, socialism, the dark state, and religious organizations. It is possible that evil in politics, education, law, society, and religion will be discussed and exposed. However, we believe this podcast adds truth and value to a mature, disenfranchised audience who may be tired of apostate religions and wicked world systems. Listeners who are easily offended, overly sensitive, or have progressive leanings sympathetic to the topics we expose should be forewarned not to listen any further. We thank both those who choose to listen as well as those who choose not to listen. You've been warned. And now, let us get on with the show. Hello, Mr. Bell. Welcome to Free Friday Hour. Hello, hello, hello. Today is August 4th, 2017. That's right. The fabulous Freedom Friday Hour, where our mission is, Ms. Kapow, what is our mission? Our mission is... What is it? To cut through the noise, dude. Cut through the noise. Well, here's the deal, man. You and I know, we know because we watch documentaries. That's how we know. But we know that all media, all corporate media is owned by about six companies. Mm -hmm. They produce all the media. I'm talking... Books, records, television, movies, news, six major conglomerates control everything. So when you have a, a thing like Fifth Hook Media, you know, dude, we don't come up with news. No, we're irrelevant. We're irrelevant, yeah. I mean, you know, we're not like investigative reporters that come up with news. And if we were, no one would want to hear it anyway. But what we do is we take the news that the conglomerates do, the stuff that they put out, and then try to cut through that noise, through that BS, if you will, and try to find some answers to this stuff, Mm -hmm. right? But not, you know, it's just, I mean, we could spend all day talking about politics and, oh my goodness, Mm -hmm. you know, that's all they talk about. It's a White House here in the United States. Mm -hmm. But, um... Yeah, we'd like to find some other stories that show uh, just the, well, just the times that we're in, and exactly. we've always done that, just to kind of show how you know perilous things are, and to be aware and how important it is to be more spiritual, mm-hmm. right? Exactly. Does that make a sense, Mister Prang? Yep. Good. So we're going to talk about a lot of nakedness today. Nakedness. You said nakedness. I said nakedness. A lot of nakedness. What was weird is this last week, it was this story after story of naked people doing naked people things. Yeah. It was bizarre. Insanity. There was, exactly. You just hit it right on the point. It's just this weird insanity, this madness, this mental derangement. In fact, most of the people that got arrested were uh, cited out for you know mental problems. But it's not a mental problem. It's a spiritual problem. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual problem. Yeah, there's drugs. There's alcohol. There's uh, mental degradation involved in it. But it's a spiritual problem. And it is a demonic problem. Nakedness. That's for sure. Is a demonic problem. So it was just odd to see so many stories. The other thing that I'm seeing constantly are stories about sex dolls. Oh yeah. Every, almost every other day there's some weird story and it's, it's always the same company. It's always the same. There's only a couple of companies that are doing these things, but it's always another angle, another story about these things. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you can really see this agenda. And uh, of course they call them sex bots and, but they're not robots. They're nothing more than sex dolls. They're dolls that pervs have sex with. And that's the other thing. You know, you just, I'm seeing this all the time. So anyway, so Freedom Friday alternative commentary. That's what it is. It's an alternative commentary. Something you're not going to hear from mainstream media or um, anybody else is my opinion. <laughs> And that's why it's alternative. <laughs> ha ha. Fooled you. You guys thought it was going somewhere deep, but it's not. <laughs> right? I encourage everybody to go to our Facebook page because there is so much stuff 
that we don't talk about. There's a lot of crazy stuff that we don't talk about. That's pretty interesting. You know, mm-hmm. should I give him a little clue? Should I give him a little hint of some of the stuff? Yeah. Well, by all means, if you go to facebook.com, fifth hook media, you will see. Let's see. Here's some articles we're not talking about. NASA okay. is hiring someone to defend Earth from aliens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It pays good money. It pays about a hundred, I think about 180 K a year. But what's, uh, what's interesting about this article is the requirements. You'll have to read that. But they're looking for a planetary protection officer. There you go. You can do that. Yeah. And uh, that job will involve ensuring that humans in space do not contaminate planets and moons, as well as ensuring that aliens don't do the same here. It's a real job. I don't, I don't joke. It's, and so we posted that. The other thing that's weird is you might want to look at is this mysterious bright glow that suddenly emerges on the George Washington Bridge. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Yeah. The traffic cams caught this. And when you watch this, it's like the, the traffic is real slow going through the bridge. And this white ball just appears. It's almost like a like a flame of energy mm-hmm. right in the middle of the, the lanes. Now, I, I it would be interesting to see what, uh, what any of those drivers saw if they saw it but the cameras captured it very strange folks very strange Mm -hmm. uh there's a sex doll uh thing i'm not going to talk about today but it's a porn star i guess she's a very famous porn star yeah and so they made a doll that is exactly like her and it's the most expensive sex they call it a robot but it's not a robot the most expensive expensive sex doll uh, that there is out there, and it uh, is based on this premier porn star. You know what you know. I see with that, though? You know, once they do it with these porn stars, what's to stop them from doing it, making celebrities, you know what I mean, that you yeah. could actually be with now? Did you bring up that point uh, that's actually a concern with some of these people that... Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would that would concern me. Mm-hmm. Are you going to get these replicas... Of the image of the uh, celebrity, and I, you know, and I don't know anything about that as far as Hollywood and movie stuff. I don't know if you can copyright your image or your face. I'm not sure, but this well, particular porn star, she's behind it. You know, she's getting paid for this, and um, you know, but uh, yeah, you, that's a good point. You know, who knows? You know, who knows? I I don't know because they're really a uh, celebrities really are um, are owned by the networks Mm -hmm. they're really they're just a commodity like anything else so who's to say that they have any real rights you know what i mean yeah they may have sold their uh basically their image you know their persona yeah i mean that's why they get in trouble if they cut their hair or Mm -hmm. you know they have they have to have approval yeah that'd be weird can't just do those things yeah speaking of uh celebrity sex dolls that everybody would buy for sure is roseanne Everybody would buy a Roseanne sex doll. Yeah, I think uh, Trump would be the first one. He right? would, because he, he would take it, but instead of having sex with it, he would just kill it, beat it with a bat. Yeah. <laughs> but this is another thing that we're not going to talk about, but it's on Facebook to read. Is for some unknown reason, Roseanne that Roseanne show is coming back. There's a I revival know, of it. But that other one too, uh, the Prince of Air, or you know, oh, the one with Fresh, Fresh Prince. Yeah. I read. Uh, what the heck, man! Wow. Well, they can't come with a come up with anything good. My goodness. Well, anyway, Roseanne is supposed to come back, but what makes this different is they're going to have a what they call a quote gender creative nine year old son of Darlene and David, whoever that is. But they're having oh. some kid on there who's uh, neither male nor female, but he's a little effeminate. And um, he's gender creative, so he can go either way. So mm-hmm. basically, have a little transgender kid on there, and that's going to be the agenda. So that's, that's just some of the stuff. Yuck. There's an article I posted on um, these weird diseases coming from the fundamental LDS church, the Latter-day Saints, mm-hmm. um, out of the Mormon church. But it's the fundamentals, the ones that still believe in polygamy. Mm-hmm. Well, they're interbreeding so much to get these uh, real weird, creepy diseases that's kind of interesting. And then one that I think Miss Capow didn't even read because she can't stand. She can't. She's just too much for. Her. 
is uh, why U.S. chickens have to be washed with chlorine. Yeah, I'm... it's a incredible article about our food. Man, uh, once you do this, you'll you'll probably, mm, you know, I don't know. You think a little different, <laughs> but it's a it's a really a sad state about. Uh, yeah, what they do with the animals. I yeah. mean, you know. I know. It. I That's why I just I eat chocolate. <laughs> chocolate doesn't cry when you eat it. It laughs. It loves with you. Okay, nakedness, Miss Kapow, nakedness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have a couple of scriptures about some nakedness. Yeah. As regard to an alternative biblical perspective. Okay, Jeremiah 51, 7. And this is basically nakedness, insanity, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, and the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Habakkuk 2.15 says, Woe unto him that gives his neighbor drink, that puts thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken also, that thou look, may look at, mayest look on their nakedness. And then the one in Mark, chapter 5, 1 through 5 says, And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the county of a country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tomb, a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him. No, not with chains because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains and the chains had been plucked asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. Demonic behavior. Mm-hmm. Anything else? That's it. Also, I want to point out that Genesis, in Genesis, with the fall of mankind, Adam and Eve, the first thing that happened is that they noticed they were naked. Yep. You know, and God said, who told you you were naked? Because they tried to cover up. And that's how it was discovered that they were beguiled by the enemy. So nakedness, public nakedness, has a lot to do with shame. Mm-hmm. And ungodliness. Mm-hmm. Even the priest in Leviticus, there were laws about covering yourselves as they as they went up the staircase yep. to do sacrifice. They had to wear undergarments, basically. So it's it's not okay. It this it just it's not okay. And so to see this over and over in our society. And last week, I mean, I, I have. You know, four, just at least four stories here. And today I saw another one that I, I didn't even post mm-hmm. um, where a guy was pleasuring himself during. Uh, check this out, Miss Capel. He was pleasuring himself publicly during the emoji movie. Mm. That's pretty bad. That's sick. When you find the smiley face. Sexually attractive, you're beyond repair. That's nasty. Yeah, but it was. That's I saw. Nasty. I saw that. I saw that headline, and I didn't even open up the story to talk about it today because I already have enough nakedness. But it That's... was like every day. Yeah. The emoji movie, Miss Capow. Yeah. The me. You, <laughs> you think that guy's going me me me? No, no, He's screaming. You are listening to the Kapow Radio Show Network. Kapow stands for Kingdom Against Powers of Wickedness. Kapow is sponsored by Fifth Hook Media, a digital publisher of ebooks. Fifthhookmedia.com has a selection of ebooks about spiritual warfare and Christian living. Visit fifthhookmedia.com. That's F I F T H O O K media.com. Remember, that's fifthhookmedia.com. F I F T H O O K. Kapow! What's up, yo? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I'm done, yo. Demons in My Marriage Bed from all online digital retailers, such as Amazon.com, Demons in My Marriage Bed, a true story of spiritual warfare, changed the way my spouse and I conduct spiritual battle and has increased our alertness level to the tactics of Satan. Please do not be fooled that such things cannot happen to you. Rather, get prepared and become the spiritual warrior needed to overcome in these perilous times in which we all live. Okay, the first one up, this is from Pasadena, Cuckoo, Cuckoo, California. 
Cuckoo Fornia. And security video captures naked man going on a tirade at Juicy Wings restaurant. Oh, this is nasty. This is disgusting. Juicy Wings. Also, if you get a chance, uh-huh. if you look at the story, go to Facebook, look at the story, or you know, look it up. The video footage of this is pretty good. You can see the, the demons all in this guy because he goes right up to the security camera to remove it. And you can see it all in his face. Yeah. The, the guy's like totally whacked out. Yeah. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. This dude named Daniel goes into the Juicy Wings restaurant in Pasadena on uh, one of these days here. And I don't know what he was doing, but he was asked to leave by the man, man the manager. So the next day he comes back and he's ticked off. He's mad. And he said um, that this Daniel guy started uh, yelling at the manager, getting into his face and cursing him and threatening him and all that stuff. And then he starts ripping off his clothes Mm. and everything else. So this dude, he's 20 years old. This this Daniel guy's 20 years old. And um, because of whatever issues he had, Previously, he just goes crazy in the restaurant. He starts picking up um, things. He picks up a signpost. He walks to the front of the restaurant. He uh, he gets on top of a divider there in a the restaurant and mm-hmm. he starts singing, cursing. He starts threatening this manager. He rips off a bathroom sign. He throws it on the floor. You can see all this in a video. He pulls a piece of crown molding off and he starts walking around with it. And uh, he rips off the security camera. Uh, but there's a bunch of cameras there filming him, but he rips one off. And he didn't like his clothes, so he, he took all his clothes off. He's he's stark naked, running around with this piece of wood in his hand, threatening the manager. And uh, anyway, he starts throwing boxes down and climbing. See, that's just total madness, isn't yeah. it? He's insane. He's He's nuts. He's confronting the manager. He's threatening to kill him. And he's stark naked. Stark naked. So he goes on, he breaks a granite counter, a tablet computer. He punches holes in the ceiling. He did about $10,000 in damages. Mm -hmm. And then he just walks out the door naked. Just walks Mm -hmm. out the door. So later on, he says, this guy comes back and he's fully dressed. But by that time, the police are there and the paramedics are there and they take him away. And the manager says that he felt really bad for him. He hopes he can get the help he needs mm-hmm. uh, but that is not that is not how people behave now hey the guy oh wow well, I'm mentally ill I'm bipolar I didn't take my medication I'm on meth whatever the reason that's demonic that's a spiritual issue there that's right that's a spiritual issue okay the next story is from the smoking gun yeah. and this is Kilroy or, I'm sorry, Killjoy. Mm-hmm. Killjoy, New Jersey. Yeah. Well, these Killjoy cops really killed the joy of this naked guy who was walking down the interstate. And he was pleasuring himself with a sex toy. Um, I guess it was... <laughs> That's a, nasty. Yeah, I guess it was a, a, some kind of butt plug or, yeah. or anal vibrator. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Can, oh uh, gosh, can you imagine? Then they have a picture of him on. Oh. <laughs> you see this? Yeah, you see the yeah. demonic. Thing? You Ugh. see it in his eyes. I mean, this is a spiritual problem, right? Ugh. This is that's why we're giving you the alternative the view here. It's it's not just about a naked guy. There's a pattern here in just this last week of naked people just doing crazy stuff. There's something going on. There's definitely something going on, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, and we, and we know there's stuff going on in the atmosphere and stuff. You know, we we follow some of these other uh, guys that are really into atmospheric changes and weather and different things that you're, you don't hear from the news what's going on. And they're tracking all this stuff through various uh, real legitimate websites and uh, and they're analyzing this stuff. And I'm telling you, there's there's weird things going on in mm-hmm. our atmosphere all around Very us. Very much. Really, really strange, and uh, it's, it's. I think it's affecting. It's affecting people. It's really getting. Well, weird. Well, you think about it. The full moon affects people in mm-hmm. crazy ways. You know, even people start acting really crazy. It's like, oh, there must be a full moon out there. Yeah. Well, you can imagine. Now, 
And, you know, and everybody's getting into this solar eclipse, and we're just reading today the stupidity of this. I mean, there's people all going to, they're going to go to where they can see this full solar eclipse on August 21st because it cuts right across the United States. Apparently, it's the, it's the line is similar to the Nubadrid fault line. Mm-hmm. If that means anything or not, who knows? But, um, you know, hundreds of thousands of people are flocking, you know, in these areas to see this. So these these towns and stuff are literally preparing for, you know, the apocalypse. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> because all these people are going to converge on their towns. But I just read today, and in, in I, I think it's in Illinois. I'm not sure. One of these small towns has a winery. They're actually having... Ozzy Osbourne. Ugh. I yeah. guess Ozzy Osbourne, um, and I say this reluctantly, sang a song or sings a song called um, Howling at the Moon. Mm. And um, you can picture him already. I, I, at the moon, I, at the moon. Oh, you disgusting. know, so I guess he does a song Howling at the Moon. So they had the bright idea to have what they call um, Moonstock. It's a three-day rock festival right there on the the line where the eclipse is going to happen. And uh, so Ozzy is the main headliner, and he's supposed to step on stage at 1.15 p.m. right when the sun, the solar eclipse, is totally eclipsed. He's going to step on stage and sing his Howling at the Moon. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, because you're an intelligent person, you're saying, what does the moon Mm -hmm. have to do with the solar eclipse? It has nothing to do with it. But apparently he sings a song called Howling on the Moon, so they decided... Hey, let's have that. Eh, lunar, solar, clay, you know, who cares? Let's party. Let's just drink. They're both planet round planets. Yeah, <laughs> they're both round planets. Yeah, so whatever. <laughs> so, so Ozzy's going to go out there. And, of course, a lot of people are upset about that because they're going, this is a very spiritual, significant event. You know, wh- who's going to be looking at this idiot? singing while they should be looking at the sky you know who knows then other people like this would be great for the community we'll make lots of money and that's the rub it's all about the money Mm -hmm. so as as time gets near august 21st you're gonna probably hear a lot more weird weird stuff and maybe some of you listening live on that line you know uh where it cuts through oregon all the way down to i don't know i forget now i feel sorry for you yeah and maybe you live out there and you're going to experience some of this stuff. But anyway, Ozzy's going to sing Howling at the Moon right at the solar eclipse. Not the lunar eclipse, the solar eclipse. So there's yeah, intelligence. Okay, it's not Ozzy's fault, is it, Ms. Capone? Ozzy's just going to where he's told, right? He's brain dead. He really is. You know, he snorted ants one time <laughs> like cocaine. He just goes where he's supposed to, I suppose. Yeah. A nude man walking along an interstate in New Jersey New Jersey was using a sex toy on himself when his public pre- pleasure session was interrupted by the popo. Oh, those guys are always interrupting those good things. That's why they're called Killjoy. <laughs> Killjoy PD. The officers responded to a report of a naked man. Walking along the tree line on Route 287. That's right. This dude is from New York. New York. He was approached by two patrolmen. He stood up and he pulled an object out of his rectum. He then tossed that object over his shoulder. (laughs) Yeah. He was pleasuring himself in view of passing autos, was in possession of a digital camera also. And here's what he told the police. He said that he liked to get naked and his intention was to film himself. Okay. Wow. I wonder if he has any friends on Facebook that that we're going to see this. (laughs) So prior to his arrest, he had been at a nearby park, but apparently he had his clothes on there. It's kind of scary. He was charged with lewdness, and he's free. He's back in the community, waiting for his court hearing. And his sex toy was recovered by the police. Oh, can you imagine? (laughs) And it's in custody. 
It's evidence. Can you imagine? Gross, gross, gross. gross. Uh, even with gloves on and everything, you had to no. recover this thing and put it in a plastic bag or whatever. No. And you had to put it in the evidence locker waiting his uh, trial. And then... Then you got to take it out again. Well, yeah, and you got to carry it to court with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. No. Those cops should get a raise. Okay. That's next, nasty. Next naked, naked story. Naked? Naked. <laughs> hey, man, let's go get naked. <laughs> get naked, man. Let's get naked. Uh, this is from the Kansas City Star. Kansas City Star. Mm-hmm. Do you know that a Riley man, I guess he's from Riley, he was arrested twice in one day. Guess what? For naked Sunday strolls down Mass Street. <laughs> On a Sunday, folks. Down Mass Street. That's what it says. All righty. Down Mass Street. That's the name of the street. He is a 34-year-old man. He was arrested twice on Sunday afternoon for walking naked. Naked. Down Lawrence. Downtown Lawrence. Oh, through downtown Lawrence. I don't know. But he caused (laughs) a stir among the shops and the restaurants. Well, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine that. Uh, Sophie Milstein, she was a server at one of these restaurants. She says jaws dropped. They just dropped. It was like from a movie or something. <laughs> this guy just strolled around. According to the Popo, Riley. Oh, I'm sorry. This guy from Riley was first taken into custody about 2 p.m. on Sunday. And then he was cited for indecent exposure. He was fined $500 and released. Uh-uh. And did he learn his lesson? No. Within minutes, photos started circulating on Snapchat and Facebook of an image of a bearded man walking nude past some sports bar or something. <laughs> mm-hmm. And by Monday, he had 900 shares. People just... uh. Love this. Now, here's the deal. Look at this. Apparently, it's not against the law to stroll down the street naked in Kansas. It's not against state law. That's good to know. uh, Unless the city has an ordinance that prevents such. Oh. Yeah. So... um, this guy was cited again for indecent exposure and theft of services. I don't know what he was doing there at 4.30 p.m. Um, I don't know what services he did. But anyway, he's walking around naked again. Oh, I know why. Because the police were called because it was a driver or like a taxi that took him somewhere. And the guy said he didn't have any money to pay his fare. So he just took his clothes off and he left the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> there, I'm going naked. Come and get me. Um. I guess two years ago, there was a widespread sighting of a naked man who would do the same thing, just nonchalantly walk down the streets of Topeka. Huh. Yeah, two years ago. So here's the rub. Kansas law forbids public nudity only, only when it involves intent to arouse or gratify the sexual desires of the offender or another. Mm Mm-hmm. That sounds like a stupid law if I ever heard one. Yeah. But muni ordinances are often stricter, and according to the Lawrence City Code, indecent exposure is a misdemeanor, and it is defined as any person willfully exposing his or her private parts in a public space, male or female, or transgender, or it, or binary, or they, easy, or LBGDEQ. Same. You got to put it all in there. Yeah. Well, I added that last because that's what I do. But not everybody was offended by watching this naked guy. And here's the here's what kind of got me on this. This uh, this particular gal who who owns a restaurant said that our customers were not alarmed. It was more like, hey, there's a naked guy. And here's what she said. Seriously, she said, I think people in Lawrence are desensitized to that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And that really, that really kind of got me. That last statement. Mm-hmm. They're desensitized to that kind of a thing. Some some dude just butt naked strolling down the street in front of your kids. I know. And your wife 
whatever. I mean, that's like, well, oh, he was a naked guy. Ha ha, throw me another. I know. Give me some more nachos. Anything. Yeah, that is kind of disturbing. It's but weird. that's what they want. The, 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 the elitists, you know, kind of make you so dumb that it doesn't even bother you anymore. You just get so desensitized to it. I guess, you know, you see it in the movies, I guess. You see it on yeah. your video games, I guess. I don't know. You see it everywhere, so it's like, hey, there's a naked guy. But what if well, the naked... Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, oh, well, you know. Yeah. What well, if that naked guy turns into a Daniel at uh, Juicy Wings and just starts going crazy? <laughs> what if he starts trying to hunch the bartender? Now what are you going to do? Huh? I don't know. Right here in our own backyard, Las Vegas. Now, nothing weird happens in Las Vegas. You all know that. You know, guys have sex with corpses and and the flower beds. But outside of that... Yeah, it's a pretty nice neighborhood. Pretty nice city. A passenger strips naked on... Ooh, Spirit Airline. Didn't I tell you this was a spiritual problem? Yep. What, What is this article trying to tell you? There's secret hidden messages in it. Mm-hmm, Spirit mm-hmm. Airline. There you have it. And this was at the uh, Las Vegas McCarran Airport. Here's what happened. A passenger stripped naked. <laughs> he got hot. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is hot, so maybe, maybe it was one of those days where it was like 117. He said, I just can't take it. It's 50% humidity. I'm sorry. Yeah. The, the UV's 10. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah. It's too hot. That's right. So he was leaving... Uh, Las Vegas, and he was going for, to the beautiful city of Oakland, California, oh, no, where where right just there. nothing but beauty is there. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous place, gorgeous. Oakland, California. Um, if you ever seen uh, Afghanistan in a war zone, that's what Oakland looks like. <laughs> so it already kind of tells you <laughs> a little bit about this fella. So he, uh, what happened is uh, he goes to the to the flight gate. And there was a report of a nude passenger around 11.30 a.m. Ms. Kapow, 11 and 3. Yep, I see that. On Spirit Airline. What is the message behind this? <sighs> something. There's something there. <laughs> there is? Well, before the flight left the runway, this dude decided to strip down. He removed his clothes. While the flight was boarding, and then he attempted to approach a flight attendant. That's always a good sign. Yeah. And he was like, hey. So anyway, the <laughs> cops came, and they said that he was having a medical episode. Mm-hmm. Oh, for the love of pizza. So, yeah, a medical episode. Probably a little meth, probably a little, probably a little ganja. Legal ganja, by the way. Legal in the state of Nevada. And, um, yeah. Yeah, these are the type of people we have. We have to look forward to. Yeah. It's coming. It's here. It's here. But I just find it weird, man. I mean, don't you? Come on. All these naked stories. Yeah. I mean, really, all these all these journalists, all these newspapers, online news outlets, they were all they all got the memo to say. Find naked people this week and and write about it. Mm-hmm. It's just that's not what happened. It's just there's there's weird naked people yep. doing stuff. It's odd. I find it odd. I'm sorry. I just find it odd. It is strange though. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this is kind of related. It's sick. It's perversion, and it's kind of related to nakedness. Rise of the sex dolls. There's a six ri- a sick rise of child sex dolls. See? There and we knew this was happening. Mm-hmm. We knew this was going to come. See, pedophilia, they just want to push that. This is the next thing that's going to be legalized. I guarantee it. It's, it's like, just like gay marriage, just like the legitimacy of LBGTQ, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A, B, C, Z. Pedophilia is going to be normalized. They already, they already trying to normalize it. And I think that that's what this, all of this is. You know, I think this is what they, the ultimate goal, is to get a hold of these children. Mm-hmm. 
You got it. What did Hitler say about uh, to the adults that said we're not going to follow the Nazi regime? Mm -hmm. And he says, "We already have your children. That's right. <laughs> we already have your children. We've had them from day one, and you are irrelevant." Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. So it's same here in America. Same wherever you're at in your country. Uh, the government and the elitist and the agenda, the zeitgeist. Hi guys. The spirit, the God, the principality of the air. They have your kids and they've had them since, well, they're born. They go into public school. They have them. They have us. Mm -hmm. We become irrelevant. This show is irrelevant to these people. They don't care about alternative commentary. They scoff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So. There's these child sex dolls are being sold online. But what's happening is that the cops are catching previous, previously unknown pedophilia people lurking around in Britain mm -hmm. because they're ordering this stuff. And apparently it's illegal to order um, these kind of materials. It's kind of like child pornography. Mm -hmm. That's the law they're using. So they're, they're tracking these shipments to these men and busting them and then finding child porn and other things in their homes. So it's actually kind of uh, been used as a tool to bust these guys. Kind of interesting. Mm. Uh, grotesque sex aids are being um, sold for a thousand euros, smuggled into the country for sick pedophilias or, the, or what they call them pedos to carry out their vile fantasies. There's some pictures of these things. They're clearly children dolls. Yeah. They're yeah they're, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. They're, they're not like little small adults. They're clearly, you know, children. children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they even had some doctor or somebody uh, certify that these things were anatomic, anatomically. Hey, help me out here. Anatomically. <laughs> <laughs> anacondally. <laughs> um, correct, and that they were, in fact, children. Yeah. So some of the uh, forces there, the border forces in the UK, have seized 123 dolls. Hmm, interesting. Which adds up to six. Since March 2016, mm -mm -mm. which is a three and another 16. See, what are they trying to tell you in this? What What's the secret message here? Yeah. With seven people charged with importing them, including one man who was jailed last month. Of the seven men charged with importing the dolls, so far, six have also faced child porn allegations. That doesn't surprise me. Yep. The dolls are manufactured in China and Hong Kong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's relatively, um, it's a relatively new phenomenon there. Well, or at least in the UK with these things. Wow. Yeah. You wouldn't think so, huh? Yeah. At present, perverts are being prosecuted under import laws that prevent obscene material being brought into the country. So that's the laws they're using to catch these guys. If it wasn't for that, these guys would just be ordering these dolls and yeah, they got little kids. So anyway, asked if there should be any new laws to combat the rise in child sex dolls. Hazel Stewart of the National Crime Agency said, I think it's got to be through the full range of this criminality from manufacturer to sale to import to possess the full range. Dang it. And we need to make sure it's future proofed in case there's the introduction of the sex bots, the sex robots. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Wow. That's what she said. So in last March, <laughs> officials asked a pediatrician to examine the dolls oh this is the guy who did it and he did confirm their belief that they were childlike in appearance and anatom an anatomy I don't it's know, a I, hard one i can't that's not really it's just i can't you can't form the word no i got i can't uh okay so anyway she said that they're they're different they're not like blow-up dolls that people might associate with this stuff. Uh, 
she said they're they have the weight of a seven year old child. They're not mm. something that's like a traditional blow up doll. They're very very different and very very more accurate anatomically. There you go. Da 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 da. And guess what, Mr. Mm. Pal? This is sick. They often come packaged with accessories, like a choice of wigs, a USB device to warm. Oh, come on. A USB device to warm the spongy silicone skin. Oh, crap. Oh. Okay, I know. I'm going to gross you out on this one. And a cleaning device. Come Disgusting. on. Disgusting. Seriously, I'm sorry, folks. See, that, the men I get who, so tired of all this, this, this sickness. I really do. I mean, this is like nasty, nasty, it's demon- nasty, it's, nasty. It's so... It makes. It really does make me sick. It's such an abomination. The men who import them all, often also buy clothes to dress them up. Examples include a lacy thong, negligee, pink lacy... Okay, it goes on. My goodness. But that's what this Miss Stewart is saying. Okay, I'm not saying it. She, that's what she's saying. Now, check this out. Uh... A lot of people are call, calling for uh, laws to ban these things and stuff like that. Now, you know, y- yeah, you and I know that luck. that's not going to happen. You know, this stuff is going to go through because they're going to try to sell it that, well, it prevents them from acting on their impulses. But it and, doesn't. No, of course it doesn't. Because what? Hell is never satisfied. Mm-mm. The grave is never satisfied. Sin is never satisfied. You know, the, mm-hmm. your lust of the flesh is never satisfied. You don't reach a certain level of the lust of the flesh and go, well, you know what? That's it. You know, mm-hmm. I do a little marijuana. I drink a little bose and that's it. I don't need anything else. I'm, I'm good. You know, yeah. this is going to go a little more. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's talk about uh, David Turner. Who's David Turner? You ask. That's what I want to know. Yeah. I'll tell you who David Turner is. Check this out. He's a former school governor. He's involved with schools. Okay? These guys love to place themselves in position around children. They're slick. Yeah, they are. He's a former school governor. He was convicted of importing a lifelike child sex doll. Guess how old he is, Miss Kapow? How old is he? He's a young, virile, 72-year-old man. Gross. He admitted having he admitted having sex with a three foot ten inch doll described by the National Crime Agency as detailed and correct as a child. Mm, mm, mm. He uh, had also bought clothes for it. <laughs> this guy was the governor of schools. See. That is so gross. The NCA said that in previous cases there were such items had been imported, defendants had pleaded guilty to importing an obscene object, but Turner had asked a judge to decide if his doll was indecent or obscene in the eyes of the law. Mm -hmm. Now, Judge Simon James ruled on Monday that it was. Wow. Now, guess what about Turner, David Turner? Mm. He was uh, not only a governor, former school governor, but guess what he was too? What? He was a church warden. Oh, of course. Praise the Lord and pass the rubber dolls. <laughs> he was also a church warden. He was arrested in November last year after custom officers at the airport intercepted the sex doll, which had been imported from China. It came with a fishnet body stocking. Oh. <sighs> When cops searched Turner's home, they found more than 34,000 indecent images of children. Well, the, um, Ms. Kapow, they were, they were from 3 to 16 years old on his computers and hard drives. And he also had two other child sex dolls. So the, the, the one wasn't enough. Two wasn't enough. He had to get a third one. Now, when do you think he was actually going to act on those impulses if he had not already? Exactly. Yeah, I know. He viewed websites selling items with descriptions such as, quote, flat chest love doll, end of quote. So I guess I guess that's a better way to type it in than it would be, you know, child love doll, you know? Ah. 
So uh, the crime that he has been convicted of relates to the import of one of the dolls he already had at home. He's going to be sentenced uh, next month. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. David Turner. There's a picture of him on here, too. He looks like a a cheesy cheesy doll freak. Yeah. Yeah, so what are you gonna? What, I mean, what are you gonna do? They're, they're, you know, these this border force. Um, they're, you know, these these investigators. They're trying to detect these things, and uh, they're starting to notice an increase mm-hmm. in the seizure of these childlike dolls. I mean, come on! I know it. Mm-hmm. This one guy says the uh, Dan Scully. He's the deputy director. He says what's critical. I think for this investigation, these items were going to individuals in many cases who were committing other offenses in relation to harm of children. Mm. They were also critically people who were otherwise unknown to UK law enforcement and having an interest in sexual activity with children. So it's kind of, it's kind of back, you know, backfiring, Mm -hmm. you know, on these, on these guys. But this this whole argument about it's going to keep them away from real children is it's a lie. On. I mean, I I hope no one falls for that BS. I hope the BS meter just rings off the hook on that. Yeah, it's not it's okay. A lie. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. not okay to pretend like you're having sex with a child Mm-mm. or a dog or a turtle. You know, no, nope. or a piece of Munson cheese. It's not okay. <laughs> <gasps> it isn't. Oh, you're funny. <sighs> okay, Skapow. I think that's it. Is that it? Legit? Yeah. yeah, that's it. All right, folks. Ciao, babies. <laughs>